me turn to another issue that came up in the minutes yesterday, which was the coronavirus. And I want to ask you about your sort of daily routine. Do you watch data for, about the coronavirus every day now? And what are you watching? Well, well, Steve, obviously we have we have a very capable staff here who who is doing that. Sure. And I'm getting either verbal or, or email briefings uh, on that. Um, and on a, obviously, on a daily basis? Well, certainly I'm getting daily emails yeah, on it, okay. yes. Right. Um, and what I would say about that is obviously, let's begin with, it's a human tragedy for all those afflicted with the coronavirus uh, in China. It's obviously something that is, is probably going to have a noticeable impact on Chinese growth, at least uh, in the first quarter of this year. And we won't know that really till April when we get their GDP uh, statistics. But what Chair Powell and, and, and we have said is vis-a-vis -vis the U.S., what we would be looking for is some body of evidence that suggests that we need to make a material reassessment of our outlook. Right. And, and certainly we have not done that yet. But we're, we are monitoring it because China is a huge part of the global economy. I'm interested, though, in how you think about this. Yeah. How what's happening in China that with, what, with the shutdown of factories, uh, the uh, cutoff of, of tourism, those things, yeah. how do you expect that will affect the U.S.? Where will you be looking for how it will affect the United States. Well, economy. I think there are several dif different pieces, uh, Steve. First of all, there is exports to China, and obviously part of the commitments in the Phase One deal was for U.S. exports to China to ramp up. So obviously we'll be looking at that. Supply chains are very important. So to the extent that supply chains are disrupted by the coronavirus, that could show up in terms of inputs to the U.S. economy. Um, and obviously, you have the effect overall on global economic activity. So we're really looking at multiple uh, indicators right now. But I think the fair point is, sitting here in February, it is too soon to tell, but we're monitoring closely. Is it something that, how do you make a distinction between something that you write off, in other words, it's just a one quarter or a two yeah. quarter phenomenon, and something that's more inherent or important yeah. to the developments of the U.S. economy. Well, again, that's a judgment call, and, and, uh, and we're going to be looking at a broad range of data uh, on that. And I think the fair thing is it is just too soon to tell. We are tuned uh, to it, uh, and it's obviously something that we should be and we are monitoring closely.